Hey everyone, I'm Rachel. This week, we are not doing a coloring page. No, no, no. We are going to be talking about the prep work involved that you could be doing prior to doing a coloring page, the planning stage, by using a useful tool. So stick around. Enter the Sarah Renee Clark Color Catalog, Volume 2. Now, Sarah is an Australian-based designer and entrepreneur. She's got a whole bunch of goodies, including a new digital planner that you can actually color. I think that's pretty cool. But today, I want to talk about the Color Catalog, Volume 2. And by the way, this is not a sponsored video, but I do have affiliate links down below in the description if you're interested in this and want to check it out. Okay, so what the heck is this thing? Well, it is a digital PDF of inspirational color palettes that you can access on your computer or on a tablet, and it has some interactive elements. Now, you don't have to have an iPad or a tablet for this. You can totally use your computer as long as you can view PDFs on whatever you're using this thing should work. You also don't need the Apple Pencil. I'm just using it for you guys to keep my hands out of the way. And in terms of opening this, I'm sure there's a variety of like programs that you can use. But on my iPad, I use a program called GoodNotes. It's completely free there. I think there is a premium version. So what I did is I downloaded the PDF right from Sarah's website to my computer. Then I shared it to my iPad and opened it within this GoodNotes program. So pretty easy, pretty straightforward, does require a couple of steps, but nothing crazy. And I did do a video back a few years ago on the first version of this catalog. I'm gonna leave the link to that video down in the description if you wanna check it out. These have the same type of functionality. This volume two just includes 250 additional color palettes for you to draw some inspiration from. And that's exactly the purpose of this program. It's pretty much designed to take the guesswork out and just kind of inspire you with some color palettes that might be useful for a project that you're working on, coloring or otherwise. And of course, we're going to use it for coloring. And like I said, this thing is interactive. So this second page here, it gives you three kind of hyperlinks essentially that will bring you right into some categories of palettes that you might wanna check out. You could browse by a particular color or range of colors that you might be feeling inspired by. Or maybe you've already kind of decided what page you're gonna be coloring. And maybe that page has like a very obvious starting point color and you're curious what other colors may go along with that as companions. So this is a great kind of starting point for you, jumping off point, kind of just general inspiration. Now you can also browse by inspirational keywords. So if you click into here, oh look, they have a neon one. We just did a neon page. So if you're kind of inspired by like a palette or a theme or something, this keyword section would be a great place to kind of start with. Urban sounds kind of cool, maybe a bit moody. <gasps> look how cute this dog is. What a cutie, he kind of looks like my dog a little bit. Little hunter. Oh, and that's the other thing. Each page has a photo kind of demonstrating what all these colors might look like together instead of just seeing them as squares or you know rectangles. Um, you know, you actually kind of see what they look like all together in a photo. Each palette also includes the individual colors like hex code, RGB and CMYK. In case you're doing anything digital, you can match it up exactly. And the last category is my favorite, and that is to browse by collection. And they've got palettes here inspired by spectacular skies, monotone palettes, Pantone color trends. These categories should have you covered. All right, so this program is cool, and you can all certainly pull you know, colored pencils on these right from your screen, but you can also bookmark your favorite ones via the good notes, this little red flag up here. Then later, you can actually go and look at the thumbnails of all the ones that you flagged so that, you know, if you're kind of torn between a bunch of them, you don't have to keep like trying to flip back and forth and, you know, trying to see which one is your favorite. You've kind of got a little bit of a snapshot right here before making any decisions. And when you're ready, 
The program also comes with a printable PDF version, which you can do right from your computer, you know, hit print on individual pages. It's really, really easy. And that to me is kind of where the magic happens because you can pull pencils based on, you know, what you think it looks like on the screen, but to actually hold them in your hands and actually be able to kind of match pencils up to the color, at least the way that it prints, you know, is really, really kind of cool. So let's print a couple of these and we'll pick one to kind of demonstrate what I mean with. All right, here are the three that I've chosen to print. And depending on your printer, you can see a little bit of variation in the colors based on what they look like on the screen versus what they look like printed. And they're never gonna be exact because all of your printers and you know whatnot just have different capabilities, but at least they are directionally correct. And I think this bright one is my favorite. So we're gonna use this one. And you can see that the colors that we're trying to find uh, to match are right here. But there's also this open space down here at the bottom for trying out your pencils. Now on the actual app, this part is, you know, like it's not really clear what this is for. This is for the printing part. So really, really handy. And this is where I'm actually gonna be pulling out my color charts. Uh, just because it's a really nice, clear visual of what my pencils already look like down on paper so that I can really quickly just kind of spot check like which one or multiples, you know, do I think are going to be closest. So I'll pull a couple of this dark kind of mauve color. And actually on the, on the palette, it's called blush. And don't forget, we're not just trying to find exact matches here. We're also trying to find maybe a few different options that we want to have handy, maybe some in a range that we could use on the page as well. This is just to kind of get us started. And you're just going to place them down here in the boxes. And there's going to be a few where you get like spot on, perfect matches, you know, clear, clear winners. Uh, and there's going to be a few that are really, really close. And again, you're going to just going to be able to kind of use those as enhancement enhancements or compliments to those kind of spot on matches. Also, it might be helpful to write the color name directly on the paper like I am here just so that you can keep them all straight. Now, in certain situations, you're not gonna find that perfect match. So what I like to do is experiment with layering a few colors to see if I can actually create that perfect match. Now, let's see what happens when we layer the two that we've already tried here, one on top of the other. Let's see how close we get. See, that is pretty darn close. So don't be afraid to you know, just kind of see if you can come up with matches because no matter how many pencils you have in your pencil stash, sometimes it's just never going to be close. So always try to experiment. All of these colors can be used in multiple combinations and layering to get you what you're looking for. There's also going to be situations where your match needs to be completely different pencils than the ones that you've already laid down. And this might take a few tries. And I got pretty close with this last blue combo, but you can always use scrap paper if you need more room to experiment. So after a little experimenting, this is what we have. Now the visuals on the paper look really, really good. They look close. And we've got 18 pencils here that we've pulled just from those six inspirational colors. And don't they look pretty? Also, don't forget, you don't have to limit yourself to just use these. You can add in new colors, you can add in neutrals, you can experiment. This is just a really great way to kind of get your creative juices flowing. Maybe you struggle with color palettes or maybe you just need a little bit of inspiration. So if you'd like to check out this color catalog, head over to the website via the link in my description below. Also, there's links there to my Etsy shop and the merch store. Leave me a comment and a thumbs up if you like this video, and I will see you guys in the next one. Happy coloring!